Welcome to chapter five, managing the backup plan. So for a change of pace here, I have switched over to Picket, a little change of color as well. I've given Picket an extra attack stat. I've given him a couple extra skills here. Uh, hopefully I can get a result that I like uh, for purposes of uh, what I want for a demonstration here. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, roll two attack dice, two defense dice, uh, I'll, I'll add bravado, and, and I'm double-clicking, and I'll double-click stand ground and add that to the backup plan as well. Get in there. Okay. All right. Now, obviously, if I were in battle and I tried to roll six dice, I would get an error message. Well, not an error message, but I would, I would get a warning from the program saying you're trying to roll six dice. You only have two dexterity. But because we're not in battle, we can get away doing really anything we want uh, as far as rolling is concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these six dice. Uh, actually, I'm going to also demonstrate the fact that instead of clicking roll, because you do so much dice rolling in this game, the shortcut key to roll dice is space. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the space bar this time. And, okay, I got a, a kind of result I, I like. Okay, that's great. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, first of all, is um, uh, I want to move all these uh, great uh, dice uh, defense rolls uh, up into my active uh, slots. Uh, so I, I banked some of that defense. Now, I could click and drag these values, these dice, all the way up to active slots. That's a long way to go, so there's a shortcut key for that. Simply Control-Shift-Click a defense die, and it will automatically go into an active slot, as long as there is an active slot free for it to go into. Okay. Uh, we also got a constant regen, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in a lock slot. And now I have three bones, and I'm uh, the easiest way to deal with bones. Now you can you can drag dice to uh, backup plan slots, but it's much easier to just simply click Add to Backup Plan. Now perhaps maybe I didn't want to have this die. Maybe I wanted to reuse this die, this bravado die, and hope for a better result. Uh, in a subsequent turn. In that case, I could drag it out up to my prep area, it would go back to the player mat, and then I could do an add to backup plan to add the single bone. But for my demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead, bring it back to uh, the dexterity slot, and add all three bones to the backup plan. Now, when there is a double bone, or a triple bone, or a quadruple bone, or whatever the case may be, uh, these phantom bones, if you will, because normally you would leave blank spaces, but uh, my program actually uh, paints in these little phantom bones to represent placeholders for multiple, uh, for dice faces that have multiple bones on them. So in effect, we have three bones here, a bone here, a bone here, and a bone here. Now this would be a perfect, you'll also notice by the way that uh, the skill die that I that um, I added to the backup plan actually moved there as you would expect it to. The attack dice did not however because simp just because I added a, an attack die bone to the backup plan doesn't mean I won't be able to roll those attack dice again in a subsequent turn. So those dice are left behind. So uh, this is a perfect opportunity to perform a uh, 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 Pickett's Shield Bash skill. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this backup plan slot to spend this bone and this bone. Now, the rules say you're not allowed to have these phantom bones left behind in the far left slot. So th in effect, if I do a Shield Bash, I'm spending all, all of these bones. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to, I've just spent, I've just executed a backup plan. Now, of course, I would have to do it manually. So I would exhaust these uh, dice and then deal four damage to my target. And of course, when I spent the, the this bone, it uh, went back, it went, when it went into an exhausted slot, uh, as you would expect it to. Okay, a couple of the things I want to demonstrate. Uh, I can manually add bones to backup plan uh, slots if I need to, just by clicking on an empty slot. 
So if I click there, I've added a bone manually. If I click there, I added a bone manually. Click again, another bone is added manually. If I want to remove a bone manually without actually executing a backup plan, I simply right click it. Right click a bone, it's removed manually, all the other bones slide to the left. Uh, in, and also, if I try to execute a backup plan a second time, the program will say, wait a second, you're not allowed to do that, are you sure? Uh, and uh, you'll have to override the default answer of no in order to, uh, to uh, execute a second backup plan during your turn. Um, one other thing I'd like to demonstrate, um, who can I use for this purpose? I think Tantrum. Yeah, Tantrum will work. Uh, let's bring in Horn of the Zerker. And let's bring in Cripple. And uh, uh, just to spice it up here, we'll add an attack die, and I'll make that a bone. And I'll bring in, and now I'll bring this down, and I'll bring this down, and uh, we'll just add another a defense die and we'll make that a bone. So let's say we were adding all of these bones to the backup plan. We've already rolled the dice. We got four bones straight away. I'm adding them to the backup plan. Of course, these dice stay behind. The skill dice move up. And uh, let's say that uh, Tantrum wants to perform Axe Collector uh, so that he can increase this Axe Collector counter to three. Uh, so he's gonna, we're going to click here to execute this backup plan. All of these bones are going to get spent. This bone simply goes away because it's an attack die. Uh, this bone will go away because it's a defense die. This bone will be exhausted because it is uh, uh, one of the tantrum skills. This bone will get returned back to the player map because the program detects that it's a reusable bone and therefore can go back to the player mat and be used again in a subsequent turn. So if I click here, we end up with this skill die exhausted. We end up with Horn of the Zerker returned to the player mat. All the other bones disappear. And then I would simply left click on Axe Collector and, and um, increase the Axe Collector counter all the way up to its maximum of three. Anyway, that pretty much summarizes what I wanted to talk about as far as uh, the backup plan is concerned. See you in Chapter 6.